Ukraine. Now, understand, everybody, in my view, all of this is connected. Don't think these things are happening separately. You know, maybe it's because I'm from New Jersey and we're paranoid about everything. <laughs> but I was taught at a very young age, there's no such thing as coincidences. And this stuff is connected. There are four bad actors in this world. Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. And they are all four working together. China is funding the Russian war and invasion into Ukraine. And if you have any doubt about it, if you watched the news in the last week, you saw Putin and President Xi of China together, once again reaffirming there are no limits to the partnership between China and Russia. By the way, these are the pair that Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, and Vivek Ramaswamy say, we'll just go talk to Putin and talk him out of being friends with China and be friends with us. <laughs> sure, two committed communist dictators, you're going to break them up because they find us, the biggest democracy in the world, more attractive. Sure, sure. Um, they're all connected. And if we don't stand up for Ukraine, we are not the country that we say we are. And let's remember two things. First and most importantly, in 1992, we made a promise to Ukraine. Very few people in this race are talking about this, but we need to talk about it. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, there were Soviet nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Ukrainians wanted to keep them in order to protect themselves against a future Russian invasion. The United States said, no, 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 please return those nuclear weapons to Russia. And if you do, we promise we will protect you if the Russians invade you. Well, let me tell you, everybody, we made the promise. And they did their part of the bargain. They gave the nuclear weapons back to the Russians, and now those nuclear weapons are pointed at them. And we have people in our party who are saying we have no business helping Ukraine. America's promises are worthless. We're going to run out of friends real fast the world. You can't count on us when we give a word. And secondly, we have spent so far 5% of one year of the Pentagon's budget in helping Ukraine. 5% of one year of just the Pentagon's budget. And they have degraded 50% of the Russian military hardware. I don't know. Seems like a pretty good investment to me. And Barack Obama has not yet issued his apology to Mitt Romney when Romney said in 2012 the Russians are still our adversary. And you remember, Obama said, uh, you know, Governor Romney, the 80s are calling and want their foreign policy back. <laughs> well, thanks for being such a smart ass, Mr. President, but you know what? You were wrong. And we're watching it play out right now. We're watching the Iranians give drone technology to the Russians to use against Ukraine. We're watching the North Koreans exchange missile technology with the Russians. We're watching it all happen right before our eyes. They're all connected. And we need to show that we will stand up for our friends in the world. And you know what? Sometimes it's not easy. But that's the price we pay for being the biggest, strongest, richest, freest country in the world. And if we want to remain that, then this is what we need to do. And the less we do it, the more others will fill that vacuum. And I don't want my grandchildren to live in a world that's dominated by the communist Russians and the communist Chinese. That's not a world I want my grandchildren to grow up in. And I don't think it's a world you want your children or grandchildren to grow up in either. So these things are important. 